Warning, Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. It's Chris Pontius. Swear to God, if it's Lynn Ballas, I'm shooting you. <laughs> I'm gonna send my demon at night. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that like they start the ritual. He starts coming out, and then his ritual like succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's like his top half, right, and then the bottom half starts coming out from him. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out with both portals screaming. <laughs> <laughs> stop! One of you stop. <laughs> Send me back to the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, tonight at five. All right. Tonight at five. <laughs> it's, it's winter. The sun's gonna start going down. By the time. <laughs> tonight, tonight at five. All right. There's this. There's this old. You know that old abandoned music room in the back, the one that nobody uses anymore. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Well. There's one, right? And that's where they're going to be meeting. Listen to me very carefully. You tell them that you're from another sect. All right? Or another fucking whatever. Another chapter. Okay. In a world blinded by shadows. I have to write this down. A world blinded by shadows. Ugh. I have to actually write shit down. I write it down. Ugh. I don't think I'm Okay. <laughs> and then you're like, all right, thanks for the confession. <laughs> <laughs> you're under and so I'm like, so, uh, I need to put somebody behind bars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who. <laughs> so, but I found the guy who killed him. He killed somebody. What do you think, Shota? What are you asking me? <laughs> do we kill him or put him oh. in jail? <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever gets mad. Killing him wouldn't be hard. All I have to do is touch him. That's true. So. And then I can bring him back. So what am I to do with you? Hey, man, I just gave you information, okay? Like I said, I didn't even want to do it. I just work here, man. But you did it. The law doesn't care about whether you wanted to or not. The law is what we're fighting against. The law is controlled by those fucking vampires. No, I, I think... So, long time ago... Uh, angels killed angels, that was fine. Angels killed humans, that was a little shitty, but it was fine. And then a human killed a human. And then we got sent to hell. So understand people killing other people doesn't sit right with me. I believe that order is off. A little bit, yeah. But uh, anyway, so I mean if you're if you're gonna book him, I mean yeah. it's not gonna be hard. He'll try and run. He has nowhere near the dots and athletics that you do. You just tase him. <laughs> Don't tase me bro <laughs> Well I mean you can you can put him in law like in custody for now as a person of interest. <laughs> what do you have on, this, what do you have on this guy, his gamer in. tag? <laughs> <laughs> Until he gets us into this club, and then after that, you can book him. Okay. Yeah, you have to hold you until after we investigate your club activities. Nothing personal, just I gotta do my job. Okay, well, yeah, you basically detain him and all that good stuff. Uh, so it's probably still early in the morning. What does everybody want to do until 5 o'clock rolls around? Uh, I don't want to inform them about 5 o'clock. What? But I want to inform them. I'll leave that up to you. I'm going to say no. But, uh, like, Not like, that I don't trust you guys. <laughs> like, like, for... Quite honestly, the narrative where you summon Linvalis at the same time is really funny. <laughs> Hey guys, so like another 50,000 years past. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of shitty. They're starting their meeting at 5. It doesn't mean they're, if they're summoning Linvalis, that doesn't mean it's going to start at 5. 
Does that mean I'm gonna get ripped, like put in one body and then just ripped out of that one? <laughs> <laughs> Behold, a demon! <laughs> and then the body f <laughs> falls. <laughs> Like, oh, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if this was all a sham, these people are telling you lies. <laughs> and then you're gonna get double torment. It's kind of fun. Moving on, though. Oh, that'd be fun, like you said, we like, like, let's be in the music club. So I guess I'm gonna go home and change. <laughs> okay, well, first I'm gonna try to fix my damn door. <laughs> you should call uh, Ryu. Didn't you tell Rios to come here? Oh, yeah. I did, but I don't know if she cared. No, she completely ignored that. Okay. Then I'll call her. <laughs> My aunt's dead, but I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello? Uh, Rios, what are you doing? Does it matter? I just put in my resignation, okay? It does You matter. and I don't exactly have a professional relationship anymore. I mean, yeah, that's fine, but... The show needs to talk to you. Uh, uh, Seth, Seth needs to talk to you. <laughs> he, says, he says to come to my house. Why? Because he lives with me. Why does he need to see me? I don't know. Do you... You're gonna have to find out. <coughs> I don't have a phone. Fine. What are, what, are, what are you gonna do? And then you go back to fixing your door. Are you gonna be like, wait, I wasn't done fixing you. <laughs> or, you know, like, I wasn't done changing you? You were like, we need to go back to the character creation. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your character sheet. Yes. Behold the power of a god. That's what the contract looks like. You just like, you know, do the whole flames contract in your <laughs> hand. Start sheet. filling in dots. and <laughs> Demon the fallen up. mortal sheet. <laughs> <laughs> you suck at everything. <laughs> Dude, I was, I was going to try to um, get a Instagram more some followers. Yeah, I have some followers and then Okay, but, you've done that. But then I'm gonna try to use one of the followers as a what, what's it called? Pact. There we go. I don't know how to I'm trying to think of how to do it. Okay, uh, like, we'll see you take them to a secluded place, apocalyptic form. Hey, let me suck your dick. Boom. Like boom shit. Like I'm not putting it in my mouth again. <laughs> Alright, so you're you're gonna see all of them yeah. at the venue. What are you gonna do in the meantime? Yeah. Gonna get myself looking pretty? <laughs> For seven hours? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about right. That's about right. Jeff. I was like, there's a lot of jokes that can be made here. <laughs> it's par for the course. That one not late. <laughs> it's only yeah. So he doesn't Is that why I'm always late? <laughs> Just doing your makeup. Foundation is like laying cement. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, Alyssa Rio shows up. I'll just kind yeah, of. I'll just be like. Put <laughs> <laughs> it off to the side. So. <laughs> well, come on. In. This sort of thing happen often to you? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I'm probably asleep on the couch <laughs> with just just one thermos on the. I'm assuming coffee stand right next. I mean, yeah, you probably put it there. I meant the coffee stand. I'm, yeah, I was probably tired of you just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> you just have a stand, coffee stand right here. So what is, uh, what is the act, like, the, the goal of getting her to come over here? Uh, well, I, I, she has two dots in mentor. I have to act the part. Okay. Somewhat. No, so we but, need to get her to chill the fuck out. But in a nice way. In a very explanatory kind of way. There's some drugs in your backyard. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Does it work for the cops? I don't know that. Does it work for the police? Does that mean I lost my contact? Uh, you didn't lose her as a contact, but you lost her influence. So then, yeah, I lost her. I lost a contact. You still have her. Whether she likes it or not, <laughs> you're in her head. Here. Wait, that is a down and follow around the path. And then, yeah. so, I guess, I'm assuming she steps in? Yeah. Close the blinds. I'll say, well, he showed you something. <laughs> uh, he showed you his now. I'll show you mine. Nice stab her. Heal. I think for some perspective, it's only fair that I show you mine. 
Shouldn't you ease into this a little more? I mean, I'm not taking off my pants. Is there anything you want to do while this is going on, or are you just sitting with the van? <laughs> just like, hey, guys. Uh... I was going to say, it'd be funny if I was in, in at his house digging up my drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like it. So as you go to the back to blind, you just see Cantor. <laughs> just be like... <laughs> <laughs> you bang on the glass. <laughs> I, I'm just going to kind of wave at you, point at the ground, and then do the hair <laughs> Damn it. my arm. I don't think it was this spot. Fuck. <laughs> There's like six or seven holes. <laughs> it's like, man, I buried it when I was high. I might need to be high to dig it back up. You know, it's not actually in my backyard, right? It's just a <laughs> ditch behind. It's like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Why does all this back or backyard seem so undeter or uh, unin? <clears throat> Forget me. <laughs> Undisturbed. I'll just be like. Maybe you should ask her everything she knows first? Yeah, and close the blinds. <laughs> like... You're starting to look like a rapist or a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> the door's wide open. <laughs> what I'm doing after that. Oh, he put it back up! Is using some of my packs to get more people to come. Okay. I have Zachariah Reyes, who works as a. Uh, Concert promoter. So, oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna basically fill up the venue for you. And I'm also gonna get Ashley Sanchez and Felicia Lopez to get any desperate people they know to come along as well. Okay. Done deal. Much like him. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> Alyssa will basically elucidate the uh, way exactly what happened when Nishoto was in the uh, was in the questioning room. And was it you that shorted out all the cameras and yeah. stuff? Okay, so I had to do that by getting naked, <laughs> running into water, going through the vents, and then very stealthily turning a camera off. Right next to a big black guy. Uh, and basically just tell you everything that her and Nishota talked about. Uh, how she, how Nishota gave her the ability to actually see how people died in order to help her career, but she really couldn't handle it as well as she thought she did. And then just like, she just hears. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, that's, that's fairly rough. Uh, I apologize. It happens. <laughs> not, not the, not the you being weird thing. The people not used to the whole super crazy divine magic shit. But yeah. Okay. Can I go apocalyptic for a little bit? Is that a thing I, I can do? I don't think so. Are you, are you half apocalyptic? I form? actually, I'm not certain. I think you might be able to manifest certain traits. You, you, you can, in your apocalyptic form, you can manifest the Tormented. tormented traits. Speaking of torment, do you get a point of permanent torment for going back to the abyss? Uh. I think no. I think you get a point of permanent torment for throwing a soul back into the abyss. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. When you come back. Because you, you you just sent somebody to. Damnation. Gotcha. To okay. doggy hill. <laughs> <laughs> so then does that mean the societal evil pulls down a point of formation? Is that how it Oh, he loses a point of torment for knowing they brought him back up. <laughs> 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 you sent him in there? Yeah. No, look, I knew it would work out. <laughs> Neutral. So yeah. Boom. Pop a little bit for him. Be like, hey. His is disturbing. No, it's not. No offense, but I've kind of seen this before. What, do you, what is your apocalyptic form look like? Nothing like his. No, I'm, seriously, I'm describe it. <laughs> um, well, it's based off the Delga. So he's lush and beautiful and youthful and full of energy and life. And I've got big wings. <laughs> you, you just feel the, the breeze from his wings and... Just, so I'll take it. I'm asleep. Yeah, I'll take it as a slave. She feels like she's seen that before, cause mine's prettier. Oh uh, yeah, you're significantly prettier than the Grim Reaper. But... I have more dots in appearance. <laughs> but your face disappears when you go apocalyptic. Yes. 
but my base that's form that's looks like, prettier than his. That's like, that's like four dots right here. Yeah, so, saying to her, uh, power's not really meant for mortals, but when you think you're ready, I think that you'd be pretty great to have back on investigation because, well, I mean, he's cool and all, but I prefer to just let him be. She sort of retreats inside herself a little bit and just... Because taking a psychic to a crime scene is starting to grind on some of the other ones. I'll think about it. No promises, but it's not every day a literal angel of God tells me to do things. Oh, thank you. Look, I'll consider it, okay? But th that's the best you're getting. Okay. <laughs> After that, she'll leave. Do you want to... You just, tell your packs pop, to do stuff. Just like you pop in, hmm? pop in from the back door. <laughs> Covered so in like, dirt. I couldn't, bag I couldn't dirt. find the drugs. You're still apocalyptic for me. He's like, oh, we're doing that right now. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll probably there because she's walking out the door. I'll come in with like a dirty bag of coke <laughs> that I managed to dig up, and I'll just kind of. She probably walks out as I'm doing the. Whole... <laughs> <laughs> Handfuls. All right, Stammer. <laughs> fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up. That's a lot of yeses. Damn. You're good. And I'm like, oh, hey. Cop. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'll just kind of peek out. She's not a cop anymore. And I'm like, oh, cool. I'm like, I'm bringing Linvalos back tonight. Okay. <laughs> and I kind of look at her and I'm like, it's a song title. <laughs> uh, do you want to show up at this point? <laughs> Uninvited. <laughs> like, uh, uh, guys, I can't find any high heels. Can I borrow some of his? Uh, Why do you? I have one. I have like one outfit. But that, that's the same. No, one no. Outfit. See, in your apocalyptic form, you're, you're like Sebastian. <laughs> we all know that's not true. I don't have wings. No, but I'm talking about the guy. I know what you're talking about. And I'm rebuffing you. There we go. So. Like, I, I spelled cocaine. <laughs> I spelled cocaine, like, damn it. <laughs> like, he walks in, does the things, like, oh, hey, cop, and then just burst in the door like the one he just fixed. <laughs> 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 I didn't know my door was Igor's house. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, like, what, 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 what are y'all getting ready for? Wow. This concert, right? Yeah. yeah, we're getting ready for his concert. He's he's sleeping. <laughs> yep, that's we're all. Gonna, we're gonna be at that concert tonight. <laughs> I'm like, secret show starts at six. It's gonna be great. Okay, resurrection. So, <laughs> how do I? Uh, how does one typically bring a demon back or summoning circles? We we did it. Uh, so did did you make a summoning circle with the toilet? Or like around the toilet? Yes. Yeah. When we put a, a soul in Bells of Bubbles, remember? We put Bells of Bubbles in somebody. Yeah, in your club, in fact. Yes. There's a summoning circle in the club. Oh, yeah. You yeah. reuse it? <laughs> Can we reuse it? Then? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. bringing Linvalis back is going to be part of the show. <laughs> you're, you're not letting people record anything, right? Uh, no. No. Okay. I'm going to have bouncers <laughs> taking all electronic equipment. Show. So what happens until five? Uh, are they gonna hang around here? I imagine I'm going to help set up the show. What I'm gonna be doing is preparing the ritual, and the plan for the ritual is in the middle of my set. I'm gonna try to call out to the desperate people that are present, asking who feels pathetic and worthless and who wants to be born again. <laughs> And when I do that, I'm going to walk out into the summoning circle and basically summon the wallace right then and there. Okay, it's going to look bitchin'. Well, actually... And that's I guess if they were that ground down and their link is that tenuous to their life, the wallace could just force them out. And that's how Cantor created a new cult. 
<laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, good. Damn it, plan. Josh. That's my basic idea. In the middle of my set, I'm gonna call out to the anguished and the desperate. And call them on stage to be to be reborn again. Okay. Reborn again? Not born again? Triple reborn again. Damn. Monster reborn. Right. <laughs> that that card's banned. Oh. <laughs> Mono green. Can you get that, bud? So. Yeah, I'm gonna go change into something a little less copy. Okay. So like a empty. nice turtleneck, some snacks, <laughs> cardigan. <laughs> okay, you can't have a turtleneck and a cardigan. You look stupid. <laughs> Anyone who wears that, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's one fan right now. I was like, how dare he? <laughs> <laughs> fucking stop the fucking video right then and there. Like unsubscribing. Six six uh, six 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 five now. Ten. Go change like fucking jeans and a torn t-shirt. Okay. Can I leave one of my band's t-shirts at his house? Yeah. Okay. I'm nice. leaving two. <laughs> you only have like four. Do you, do you have one large and then one like buy a big cell for apocalypse <laughs> 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 Just be like, concerts happening in the night, guys. Toss him a t shirt, toss one on the Shoda. Look. Seth. <laughs> Seth Shoda. Hey, you're like, no Shoda. Well, this is still there. Like, now no, I mean, he has Seth. two shirts. <laughs> Alright, so five o'clock rolls around. Alright. I think I will wake up right about now. There's a t shirt on you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll use it as a red, but. <laughs> for the coffee stains. For the coffee stains. <laughs> <laughs> just somewhere your fucking like soul is rendered a little bit. Just like, uh, like the torment. You you gain a temporary torment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's head to the music room. Uh, Josh, you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you usually look like? The same outfit. Okay, that's right. Long hair. I look like I don't have a lot of money. There you go. <laughs> Perfect uh, question. <laughs> Are you gonna go with them? Well, I don't think. Well, I'll go. I followed the coke. So I'm going back to his place. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay, fine. BT. So before the concert, we're pre gaming by doing coke. Yeah. So you guys, uh, you guys show up at the music room, and you can already see there's a couple people filed, and they moved most of the shit out of the way, and just put like chairs. And there's this huge rubber sheet, just sort of in the middle. Rubber? Rubber. Yeah, weird. Okay. And there's this like door that leads to like a supply room that is hanging on a jar and just, just darkness. Why is the why is the supply room hanging a jar? Actually, no. It, it the door would be closed for this. And uh, sort of standing in front of the door, just watching who goes in. There's this. Kid, look, it looks like a real fucking bum. You know, jeans, old T-shirt, suede jacket, beanie, long greasy hair. Suede hat. As you sort of walk up, he's like, oh, "I'm sorry, dude. This uh, this club is a uh, members only." Yeah, we're from another sect. Oh yeah. We, we what uh, what what sect you from, guys? The uh, the deep south sect. Uh, from the kingdom of the burning sun. Come from the empire of the burning sun. What, uh, what, what, what part of the country is that? You speak Spanish? No. That part of the country. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that like this part of the country? A little more down the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're from one of the other colleges. Yep. Ah, so what's the uh, what's the occasion for coming here? Testing out say, the local scene. Ah, well, it's uh, uh I, I, I guess it's hard, you know, when uh, when darkness blinds the world of shadows. Well, in a world blinded by shadows, the unhallowed see unhindered. I like the idea that you want to remember it yeah, without the yeah. note, but oh, wow. but you left the note in the in your outfit, <laughs> and you're just like shit. 
I just, I just, I just kind of wrote it on my head. <laughs> I will. So immediately he just draws, so you are members. Oh, come on in then. What happened to your stoner accent? <laughs> <laughs> I liked that voice more. He was, he was putting on a disguise. Well, and we go. Apocalyptic. <laughs> <laughs> We summon, they, they start summoning the demon and we just apocalyptic form. <laughs> you want Dude, if we, if we showed up on both sides, they'd be like, what? Huh? You will be judged. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, so you guys go in and I guess you take a seat or you want to hang towards the back or what? I kind of want to be towards the front. Do they have food and drink? No. Not even sugar cookies and lemonade. Yeah. No, they've got a uh... coffee, but it's decaf. I push over. The <laughs> they, they have they have oatmeal cookies and the little the little hug juices. <laughs> For the diabetics, of course. All right. So, in the back. I guess. In the back. All right. So you're in the back and you're in the front. Yeah. Okay. A couple, uh, couple of minutes pass, more people file in. Uh, when it gets about a minute to five exactly, Nishota, you see, well, there, there's one guy in the bean, he goes towards the front and he starts talking with this other, just real like waste of life looking dude. Uh, and again, this really, really shaggy hair, this this like little tiny douchebag strip of uh, facial hair. He's got the, the bicycle strip. I guess that's what it's called. And uh, they they talk for a little while, and uh, the kid with the beanie goes to the front, pulls the doors closed, and locks it. And pockets the keys. It's a good thing there's no Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the hooks. How close am I to him? Um, are you hang out in, like, the corner? Yeah. Okay, then the, the doors will be, like, in the center of the room, so... I don't have a larceny, I think. Anyway, move on. Moving on. Kid with the beanie goes to the front, spreads his arms wide. And says, Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, thank you all for coming again today. Again, no, no stoner accent. I feel like I was lied to. Unfortunately, our brother Jesus will not be returning anymore. He was unprepared for what we had to say and what we had to show him. And Well, unfortunately, we just can't let people know what they know and possibly turn against us. But trust us, brothers and sisters, for you have chosen the right side, and I will be happy to show you again. And he nods towards the door of the supply room. And the, the, the shaggy pencil strip guy goes over, opens the door, and when he opens the door, there's this sound that echoes out like a wild, raging fucking animal. Just clanging and banging on metal and the worst fucking tantrum you've ever heard. And everybody in the, the classroom just kind of, you know, they're you know, taking like some sort of defensive posture from this. And the shaggy kid pulls out this chain and attached to the chain is this cage on wheels that just kind of rolls out and inside the cage is the most hideous fucking creature you've ever seen in your life. It looks like a human almost, but it's just terribly ugly. There's no hair anywhere. Its skin is cracked and broken and recessed in certain areas, its eyes don't quite line up, and it's got these mouth of just these long, horrible fangs. And it is just grasping and reaching through the bars of the cage, trying to snatch at anything. You can see its eyes are wide, and this thing has no concept of itself. And then it asks if they think it, if he thinks they're better than him. <laughs> <laughs> And there, there's this horrified, just g shocked gasp that spreads throughout the room yeah. as they lay eyes uh, on this creature. Uh, uh, 
Uh. <laughs> just looking around for the cues, just like, how shocked am I supposed to be? Behold, brothers and sisters, this creature, this vampire, wasn't even captured this far from here. Is it not surrounded? Probably, yeah. Damn it. Why? Would you consider vampirism an infection? You're, you're human again. This man. vampire wasn't even captured this far from here. This is how prevalent they are. This is... And who but we would show this to you? Please! Please, brothers and sisters, if anyone doubts us, if anyone thinks this is a particularly skilled actor in a mask, approach. Please scrutinize to your content. I'm sure he'd be quite happy to do so. Do it. Okay, fine, I'll go up. Like, heal touch. <laughs> heal. <laughs> and as you sort of get closer to the cage, this thing is reaching out and trying to grab you. And it definitely... Well, what are, what are you going to do? Hmm. What's wrong with it? Um, intelligence occult. <laughs> That might be it. Yeah. That's good enough. Uh, yeah, it is blood starved and in the throes of frenzy. Yeah. I'm just leaving. It's all right, old you. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it, it most definitely is a real, actual, for truly is a vampire. Realsies. This creature and all its ilk would attempt to enslave you. Would attempt to enslave everyone in this room to slake its own passions, its own thirst. I'll ask, what is it? It's a vampire. Oh. Can I have a knife? Yes, you may. Okay. And, uh, he'll basically just hand you a fucking pocket knife. I'll just cut my hand and drip some all over. Okay. Uh, it, it sort of laps it up greedily in this horrific display, this long, distended, slung-like tongue bathing its face, basically, as it, as it desperately scrapes at its face for every last little gonna... drop. <laughs> You're just healing yourself? Can I do that? What? Heal myself while I'm... Just like, like he cut his fucking wrist. And then just I like, have my hand in my pocket touch. <laughs> <laughs> Playing the pocket pool. I'll allow, it. I'll allow it, but this thing basically completely debases itself for every tiny trickle of blood. That's why as soon as he, as soon as he is on a full tummy, he'll be less cranky. <laughs> I'll give him, like, three points of blood. Okay. Is that fair? I'll approach now. <laughs> wither. <laughs> <laughs> no, wither the cage. No, wither the cage. Wither, wither, like, the lock. Just a little bit, though. Are you satisfied now, brother? Yep. Yeah. I'm just ex inspecting it for the moment. It's yeah. a boom beat. It's not any of the vampires we know, right? No. Okay. We didn't know Nosferatu. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought of making it that uh, Nosferatu, but then I would have had to explain who that was to the audience. <laughs> yeah, like, we did know Nosferatu. Right. Here's part of Isabella Chen's, uh... Pack. Coterie. And, uh... He, the, the kid in the beanie just sort of looks it up and down. A pitiful existence. And then sort of puts his hands to his mouth and, and this huge fucking fireball leaps out and completely incinerates the creature. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you like, my blood! <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly there are just these huge flashes as the two guys at front 
go apocalyptic for him in front of God and everybody. The guy in the beanie becomes this huge red burning devil with these huge wings and these horns spiraling off in every direction. The kid with the shaggy hair and the pencil strip just turns into this huge fucking what basically looks like an infected winged skeleton with flesh and pustules sloughing off of it. 